Welcome to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we're playing some more of this shit and stuff. And we're heading. We're into the next town. So Pele and us are, you know, and I and you and me and everybody, we're all doing good. Right? Right? How you doing? Anyway. I just got done finishing uh, Enemy Front, and that was interesting. Quite interesting indeed, and this stupid little bitch popping up and down over here. Nobody likes her. Ain't nobody her friend. Ain't nobody love her. Uh, I hate this shit. I mean, this is obviously one of those things that I think everyone's ready to just get rid of and, and just be like, fucking, we know how to do this. Have it, have it be some fucking thing at the beginning when you first start your game up. Hey, do you know how to play Pokemon? No, I fucking don't! Tell me how to play! And then a little fucking do its thing and be like, yeah, there you go, now you know how to play, asshole. And then like, wow, thanks! Now I can be a Pokemaster! And then, you know, all that good shit. Or you could be like, nah, dude, I got this shit. I can roll these bitches. I know what to do. And this takes so long! Oh god, it takes forever. Me no likey. Me no likey. But it is, as, as you can tell, it is twilight time right now outside, according to the Pokemon professor guy, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, it's because it's it's kind of like it's like 7:30 right now. So, figured I'd go ahead and get another episode of Pokemon out the way, bitch, and then and then get on and, and get get going here and do some shit that I want to do. Like, I don't know. Actually, I don't even know what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening. Honestly, I just I have no idea. It's kind of been a really shitty weekend, so I'm kind of like, ugh, right now. Just kind of, just kind of tired with shit. Oh, speaking of a centrits, um, I kind of have an idea of what Pokemon I'm going to get um, throughout the course of the LP. Um, I have an idea. Like I said, it's... I'm not really specifically set on some of them, but you know we're 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 pretty much we pretty much have an idea. Um, I think we should be able to get one or two of them in the next town. I think. I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I really need to go get the guides I have for this and sit down with it and and actually go through this shit. And oops, I got got to hit the button. It doesn't fucking do it on its own. God damn it. We are we are beat the fuck up here. God damn, we need to go. We need to go hit up that Poké Center we we walked right by. But um, yeah, um, there are some Pokemon. Like I said, with Lapras, I had a like. It's unfortunate because like there's three really good water types that I was thinking about getting in this game. Obviously, like I said, Total Dial is one of them. Um, fucking Lapras, obviously, I had to fucking think there. And then, of course, uh, girlfriend was like, why don't you get a Krabby? And I was like, oh, Krabby would be alright. I haven't used a Kingler or something. I mean, I was like, that'd be fun. That's an old original 150, and you can't get them in this game. It's a little bit later in, I think, World Islands, if I remember right when I looked it up. But, you know, those aren't, those aren't too bad. I could, I could deal with one of those. I mean, I'd be alright with that shit. Just because, you know, it's just something I haven't even fucking played with. Like, like Cyndaquil here. I don't even like... I mean, I don't mean this in a bad way, but I'm not really that fond of fire types. Like I said, the fire type starters are kind of crap, in my opinion. I mean, Chimchar is okay. You know, Torchic is probably my favorite outside of Charizard. I mean, like, like Charizard is one of those Pokemon that just has, like, a place in my heart just because it's a Gen 1, you know, and... and it was the first, my first introduction to a fire type, and um, you know, thus it's got this, it's got this, you know, nostalgic, you know, I don't know, this, this nostalgic pull on me, I guess, I don't know. It, 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 it's got me by the balls, I have to say. But I mean, you know, so does obviously, uh, you know, other ones, you know, Blastoise. That's what's funny is, you know, uh, like okay, let me tell you a little bit about myself. We have ten tortoises. Ten. Ten. I like tortoises. They're awesome. One of the coolest pets. One of the coolest animals I've ever seen. 
And as much as I like him, Blastoise is, and, and honestly, Torterra as well. I love Torterra, I really do, but those are like the two Pokemon that I absolutely love, but I'd never fucking use. It's fucking weird. Like every time, yeah, sure, whatever, Youngster Joey. It's, it's, it is Youngster Joey, you know, the top percentage that I got. Yeah, anyway, um, oh god, go in the hole. Shit. Um, and, but, like, for whatever reason, every time it comes down to, like, picking a water type or something, somehow, or grass type in Torterra's case, you know, that somehow they always get, like, like, squeezed out of the group. I hate it. I hate it, because, I, like I said, I love Squirrel. Squirrel's cute as fuck. I mean, who doesn't like Squirrel? Come on. You know, and then, of course, Torterra is a fucking shit. The guy's got a fucking continent on his back. But, you know, anyway, I mean, that's just... So this is shit that I like, and, and, and I don't really get a chance to use them all that much. We use Chimchar way too fucking much. Way too fucking much. I mean, Chimchar is one of those Pokemon that, that I like, but it's just, I've used it so much that I not really have lost respect for it. It's just, this is one of those things that I've kind of just like, eh, you know, it's there, but, you know, it, because of its lack of performance, it kind of is wiggling its way out of my, you know, like, top favorite Pokemon and all that shit. You know, even I mean, even though I love the concept, the whole Monkey King thing and all that shit, I mean, it's it's a really cool Pokemon, but I've just used it so many times. It's like, you know, can I just use something else? <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, and and what's fucked up is like I said, I'm not even a big, I'm not even into fire types really. What's up, bitch? I'm not trainer, but if looking to the ass, prepare for battle. That's really the girliest voice you're gonna get at me. I ain't gonna do no fucking bullshit voice acting. Sorry, if that's what you're here for, find another channel. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I just don't do that. I don't read this shit. I mean, I'm sorry, but, like, if if you've made it to LPs, you've probably played Pokemon before. And if you've played Pokemon before, you kind of get the gist of what they're saying. I mean, when I when I play through the game the first time, you know, like, generation the first time, like, when I played through it, why the first time? I talked to everyone. I read everything. So when I play Omega Ruby on the channel, you'll probably get that. But if it's a game like this that I've already played, it's just like, yeah, you know, it's just some bullshit trainer. And the storyline is, you know, something that you kind of, you know, know already anyhow. But anyhow, like, like I was saying, you know, that's why I kind of went with Cyndaquil because it's a type that I'm not really fond of, first of all. And... I mean, I don't even mean that in a bad way. It's just, it's just one of those types that like, it's just not one of my favorites. I mean, my girlfriend loves a shit ton of po Pokemon that are fire type. Me, I'm just like, eh, there's only a couple. And like I said, it's like, well, there's Charizard <laughs> and uh, Torkoal. Torkoal's pretty badass, but but unfortunately, Torkoal is is. Honestly, in my opinion, not as good as it could be. It could be something badass if it actually had some, some, uh, oh yeah, mom was like, oh, yeah, save some money. <sighs> Fucking mom. Cheap bitch. Stealing my cash. Anyhow, yeah, it's just one of those things where, like, you know, it's, there's just not a whole lot of Pokemon, and, well, Torkoal is just one, like I said, it's just, it's awesome, but it's just, it really gets fucked by the fact that it's kind of just a single evolution, I mean, single stage, I guess, it's not even an evolution, because it never evolves, it's just straight single stage Pokemon, and that's really disappointing, I mean, it's just like, ah, well, it's only going to be one stage forever, and it kind of sucks. I mean, really, it does, in my opinion. Because, I mean, it is... And then, of course, you know, now they get, like, the Mega Evolutions and shit. Which are kind of going to, like, help alleviate some of the... The... The down-sloping performance of single-stage Pokemon like that. But, in my opinion, I'd rather just have evolutions. I mean, that's just me. I mean, I don't know. I wasn't... I wasn't all up into the Mega Evolution thing. Especially with, like, the new ones, like... Marsh Stomp looks like a fucking bowling ball, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, what a way to ruin one of my favorite Pokemon. And it's just like, 
You know, Sceptile looks a little more Sceptile. And we already knew what Torchic looked like. I mean, you know, so it's... Which is like, yeah, I mean, it just gets a little more bits. It's really, that's really all there is to it. And that's one of those things that's kind of eh to me. I mean, I could do without, I could do without all the extra frills, but that's, that's really about it for me. You know, I, anyway. Well, you're going to level up like mad in this little fucker. But in terms of Pokemon that we're potentially going to pick up, there's nothing in these first couple routes here. Um, of course, you have the cave where you could pick up... Oh, you dick. And why do we not have a fire fucking move yet? We're going to fucking die here. and We don't even have a fire move. This is, this is kind of... This is kind of annoying. I'm just saying. Kind of annoying. Oh, there's fucking Ember. My goddamn time. Level 10. Jesus, I had to wait till level 10 to learn a fire move. Can we nuke this Caterpie? Can we nuke this level 2 Caterpie with an Ember before we take poison and die? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Little Pele. Little fucking Pele. That's what I'm talking about. Now I gotta fucking waste all my fucking. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, sure, whatever. By the way, I am gonna ignore these fucks. When they start calling me shit, I, I ain't answering them assholes. They, they can go straight to hell. Oh, god, I keep pushing the wrong button. Alright, now we need to go. Nope. There we go. Use that shit. Use that shit. Use. Glad we don't have to fucking sit here and like watch the fucking animation of putting them on, putting that shit on. So yeah, this is why. Also, I wanted to play some of the um, later gen games like this one instead of playing like uh, actual gold and silver and all that shit and crystal and all that stuff because I just don't want to sit through all the old bullshit like we kind of had to sit through with Leaf Green with you know spraying the shit on their face and all that crap. You know, that's just me. Plus, honestly, I think I think over the years, you can probably hear that. The damn dog's playing with a fucking toy in the other room, mind you. Um, plus, I kind of like the graphical uh, improvements they made over the years. Um, I mean, I think they just really, really did a good job of improving this game, you know, over the years. It's, it's not like, you know, all the Madden games and shit like that where it's like, oh, we got a new iteration of it and that's shit. And, but, you know, it's the same thing as last year, just a little bit of updated crap. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've played plenty of football games and Madden and soccer games and shit like that in my day. But, you know, actual improvements, you know, are something that I really like to see. And that's why I like, that's why I like, you know, that's why I keep coming back to Pokemon, I think. It's because I just always had, you know, consistent and quality improvements in the gameplay. I mean, even if they've taken a step back sometimes, like, you know, not letting you you know, take your Pokemon for a walk with you like you do in this game. Which is dumb. And everyone in the fucking world wants that shit. But they won't do it. No, no, no. Bastards. But anyhow. Um. This is as good a place as any. You know what to do. You've made it this far on YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the Ghost Key is the only place where pants are optional.